Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a collaboration piece with Share Bear. Um, some of you guys know her as Sharon, but her YouTube handle is Share Bear. So she sent me this awesome piece and I've been looking at it and I've seen a couple things in it, but the thing that just kind of stuck out to me the most is it looks like a geode. Um, so here's like the center and then it goes out as it goes. So there's a few things I want to do to this. Um, I have some metallic paint markers and I wanted to find some lines and then once that dries I want to add a coat of resin and put some gems, jewels, and stones and then I want to cover that again with resin. So all kinds of fun stuff. It's going to be multiple videos unless by the time I do this I have my stuff so that I can edit. So it's definitely going to be a few steps. So I'm going to start out. I have the Painters Express Yourself in Metallic Gold. And then I have this new one. It's from Plaid. It also says Painters Palette, but it's from Plaid. And it's a silver metallic paint pen. This one has a rounded tip. They're both medium, but this one has a rounded tip. And this one has like the chisel tip. Um, I tested both of them out on another piece just to get the ink flowing. And I actually prefer this one because of the tip. It's easier to do a straight line with and not have little striations in your lines. But these are the two colors I, these are the only two colors I have, but I actually bought these colors specifically for this piece and one other collaboration piece I'm doing. So I do know I wanna make the center more defined. So I'm gonna do something around in here. And then I definitely want to define the edges a little bit and maybe something in this area just to give me better lines to work with and a line that's actually going to be visible and show around the stones that I add in. So for the center of the geode, I think I'm going to pull it out to right find the line that goes through right here. So we're going to start right here. And I want it to be a continuous piece so I'm going to start on the edge and I can always thicken the line up as I go but you can't make it thinner. I'm going to set this piece here. It's a redo piece anyway. I'm going to very carefully do this, and if I have my editing software and stuff in time, I'll speed this part up. I want this line to be a little thicker than most of the lines because I really need that center to be defined really nicely for me. And I'm using the silver here because the center is normally lighter, but this center is really dark. So I'm using the center, the silver to kind of help with that. And then I'm also going to use some lighter stones to try to lighten this part up a little bit. Looking pretty decent for my first
time. I was really worried about doing this actually you guys because it is a collaboration piece and it's not my piece and I really didn't want to mess it up. If it was one of my pieces and I mess it up then you know it is what it is. But when it's somebody else's art you're always kind of a little hesitant which is probably why I waited so long to get around to it. I've been procrastinating. Okay, I'm gonna put the silver up for a minute. I may do another silver line, I may not, I'm not sure. But I do want to do right here. When you use these, you might want to wear a respirator or a mask or something because I can most definitely say that bending down this close to it, I can definitely smell the paint fumes. I'm going to make that wider right there where that... So I'm trying to stay with the lines. And see, I don't like this one as much because you can't turn it this way because it leaves a blank spot. But you also can't just do it on one side because of the way the chisel tip is. So I'm not a huge fan of this marker. I prefer the rounded tips like the other one has. There's a few spots that I'm definitely going to go back over. I wish you guys could see how actual shiny this is. It's not really showing. Once it's dry, I'll be able to tilt it and show you. trying to cover up all of the color underneath it.
K, what do you guys think about that? I wish this was live. Because I could see if you guys thought I should add more. Or not. Which, I mean, I can always add more on another layer with resin to give it a more 3D effect. But, I don't want to add too much. So, here's what it looks like so far. just with and it's already all metallic colors anyway so that just helps like give it some 3d effect already so that's what we have so far hopefully you guys think it looks pretty good I made sure to go on all the sides everywhere that way it's a full cohesive 3d piece and I'm gonna let that fully dry and then we'll come in with a layer of resin I may add a little bit more marker to it or not and then we'll pick out the stones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about what I've done so far. Also, let me know what colors you think I should add crystal-wise. Um, I do have some different colors. I have some of the glass pieces. I have some stones. I have some other little crystal um, things, but I ha I do have some of the matching blues, I have some golds, um, I've got some lighter blue, and I've got some that are kind of clear, and then I've got some different ones, so just kind of let me know in the, script, the comment box below what you guys think and what you would do if you were doing this collab. I hope you guys enjoy.